Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Draw. In today's episode, we'll be focusing on rendering a character with multiple materials. I'm starting with a simple skeleton and using that to adjust the pose, then fleshing out the basic forms on top. At this stage of the image, you'll want to work as quickly as you can without sacrificing accuracy. The anatomy needs to appear correct, but you don't want to work so carefully and slowly that your figure becomes stiff and unnatural. It's a balancing act. Eon Flux has a very form-fitting costume, but even for characters with bulky clothing or armor, it's a good idea to sketch the full anatomy of the body first, then draw the clothing on top of that. It may seem like a lot of work only to just erase it later, but like perspective lines or the figure skeleton, an accurate nude is necessary to ensure everything is drawn convincingly and that the clothing sits properly on the body. Some artists jump directly to clothing without sketching the underlying anatomy, but that's the result of repeated practice. If you're drawing something you're very comfortable with from a perspective you've rendered many times and in a pose you've used repeatedly in the past, you could likely skip directly to clothing. That said, however, if you're drawing something so familiar, the question you might ask yourself is why? Could the time spent repeating yourself be better used to create something new and challenging? Folds in clothing tend to give beginners a tough time, but the simple trick to understanding them is that major folds appear at joints. If you focus on visualizing how the clothing bunches up at the shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, and wrists, you're mostly done. Folds appear in many other areas, but these five are the main visual cues that people will notice first. Don't try to be incredibly detailed with folds in clothing at the drawing stage. Most of the visual information about folds comes from the lighting. A few simple lines, usually in pairs, following the contour of the body is all you need.
I'm working in shades of gray so I can focus on the lighting and materials without the additional complication of color. You can see I have many more layers than I normally use. This is because each material was created on a different layer. One for skin, one for cotton, and one for vinyl. I duplicated and merged the copies into a single paint over layer and hid the originals. The paint over layer is where I'm doing most of my rendering, but the copies I'm using to quickly select the pixels of each material as needed using Krita's Select Opaque command. In Photoshop, you could accomplish the same thing with multiple layer masks. Having an isolated selection lets me work on each material without worrying about spillover. You can hide the outline of a selection using the hide selection toggle in the menu. When rendering skin, keep in mind that it's made of multiple, slightly translucent layers of skin cells, so it shouldn't have perfectly sharp, defined shadows. Materials like vinyl are exactly the opposite and have very bold transitions between light and dark.
As always guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you're still on the fence, check out some of the other videos. Links are on the screen right now. If you have suggestions or want to leave feedback, you can reach me on Facebook, DeviantArt, or Twitter.